show you how much serious I am to marry you. Right. Come on. My princess, please. Leave my room. Stop. I'm very serious, please. This is Don't see me. Alone. This is to show me how serious you are about marrying me. What do you mean? By laying naked on my bed. Wait a minute. Are you trying to say you're not getting turned on by, by just seeing my skin? No, ma. I'm not. Can you leave my room? Please. Oh, don't put me into trouble. Leave my room now. This is wrong. Are you okay? Are you I, will, mama? I will leave this room for you. Wait a minute. Leave my room. Oh my god. They say my food is not enough. They want my jolla jolla. They said they hate me before. Now they come, they love me, die. Jay. Ordinary cook. Ordinary I'm done to love our boy. I was in my heart to kick you. Jay. I'm not so sick. Above you. I'm scared though. Well, I'm scared. You. Ghetto boy. Scared of what? So you see nothing wrong in sleeping with three sisters. To crown it all, they are all princesses. You know, I why am I scared? Bro, she be like you talk say those girls, they harsh on you for that palace. This is an opportunity for you to use them. I mean, use them and useless them. But be careful, oh. Use protection. I mean, full-time protection. Is that? Use protection. Your problem is that said you, you see nothing wrong in me sleeping with three sisters, the princesses. I'm telling you, you don't calculate the risk. You're just saying, ah, use them, use them, use them. It's not easy. What's the risk there? You see that their last daughter. That girl is the best. She's so peaceful. She's calm. She's she respects everyone. In fact, you see that one, the last princess. From the look of things. She is the one for me to marry. What a peaceful woman be. See, see, see who is talking about marriage. You wasted the work for that palace and you talk about marriage. Wake up from this dream, oh bro. Which one is marriage? Marry, you want to marry? Marry who? The last time I checked, you're still working in that palace as a cook. Cook, cook what? Not as a prince from the other village. So who says a cook and not marry a, a princess? Is love not blind? Oron and Kamafuzo. Is love not blind? What did you Fuzo? Oh, I'm a now, Ghana. Lead, blind man. Be walking, be walking, be walking. Bro, wake up from this dream. Which one is you want to marry princess? Palace cook. Who does that? Close your eyes and walk now. Alpha, come in. Ivy. Ivy, you stop me. What's going happen? Oh, yeah. Let me go to Gubita, sir. Very fast. Guy, the Gubita is on course, I got to bring you to the show yourself. I've been mean, just saying, no, Fipe, give us the good bit of us now. Uh uh. Do something now. Maybe some car for you. This is the way they never be got cheap, you bar. Come on, get your name. Why are you not carrying bags now? I'm not comfortable. You need to calm down. You want to achieve your life. See? your face like this? What is it? Huh? Rena, I need to be left alone. No, sis. You can't say this. You know I care about you so much. I can't just see you in this mood and walk away. What is it? I said I need to be left alone. Sister, no. Are you mad? Come on! Come on, English! You can't understand! I need to be left alone! Now, disappear from this place. Leave my sight now. Sorry. Disappear from here at once! Get out! Um, uh, I don't understand what you mean by you want him gone. Dad, I want that young man to be gone from this palace ASAP, as soon as possible. And what has he done? 
dad, the right question should have been, what has he not done? I mean, that thing, that stupid boy had the nerve to seduce me. What? He did? Dad, excuse me, have I ever come to you with such before? No, you should know when I'm being real. That idiot, that bastard crossed his boundaries and needs to be punished. He needs to be punished. This is interesting. Very, very interesting. Princess. Hi, babe. I'm fine. Greetings. Guess what? What? <laughs> I went shopping today. I stopped at the boutique and also the mall. So I got you these um, wonderful items. <laughs> My princess. Yes? Are you serious? Ah, of course. Yeah. I know you will love them. The accessories, the shoes, the bag. <laughs> Thank you very much, my princess. You I like it? This. I love them. Ah, come on. You don't have to thank me. You are my man. My responsibility. That is who you are. So anything I'm doing for you, just take it. That your baby is doing everything for you. <laughs> See, I feel, I, feel like, I feel like hugging and kissing you. No, no, no. no. I, I've been cutting onions and pepper. I don't want to touch my baby with onions and pepper and... Ouch! <laughs> I know, my baby knows what I like. Yes. <laughs> I have a pot of fire. Once I'm done cooking, eh? okay. I will freshen up. Then keep a single and cup. I trust you. Thank you, my baby. No, Just no. take care of yourself and enjoy, okay? Yes. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> What if Esther, my friend, is right? There is no way my husband will agree to take another wife, even in afterlife. I have to digest this fact and move on. Since he cannot do it, I may find favor in the lions of another man. It wouldn't be, wouldn't it be demeaning asking my palace cook to sleep with me? Huh? Who knows how he will feel about it? It is handsome and very manly enough to likely produce a male child as his first seed. I just have to try my luck with him and God willing, he will accept my proposal. I just can't wait to give my beloved husband an heir to his throne. He certainly cannot be the last king of his lineage. No. Agidi. God. Yes, my king. Agidi, tell Benji I want to behold his presence. Okay, my king. And be fast about it. Okay, see my king. You sent for me, Your Highness. Benji, I want you to tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. Just the whole truth. Tell me the truth. What do you feel for my daughter? Sir? Do you love my daughter? Tell me, just the truth. Your Highness. Which of your daughters are you talking about? If him, my first daughter. What do you feel for her? Just say it. Just Your Highness, I... I... 
remember what I said. If you tell me the truth about it, I promise you here and now, as I speak, I will hand that over to you as a wife. Life. Ori. Um, I know you're very, very close to the cook. Yes, I know. I know you're even more close to him than I am. Um, are you interested in him? How no? No. We are just friends. And besides, he's helping me perfect my cooking skills. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. Yes. You mean you're not interested in him? No. Yes, that's good. That means you will help me talk to him. Talk to him? Yes. About what? <sighs> Uri, yeah. the truth is, I'm interested in the cook. Yes, I know it may, it may sound surprised to you, but that's the truth. I'm interested in him. I love him. And, and I want him to be my man. Ngozika. <laughs> Wait. You are interested in him. Yes. And you want him to be your man. Yes, of course. Our cook. Ngozi, is this a joke? How is this a joke? Do I look like I'm joking or do I sound funny? Because I don't understand it. Come on, Ure. Eh? Can't you see that guy? He's everything any woman would want. Take a look at his face, the way he dances, you know, everything about him is just perfect. I want him to be my man. Ngozika, Ngozika, are you the one saying this? Of course, I'm the one saying this. Because the last time I checked, you are the one that loaded everything about this guy. You never seem to insult and embarrass him in any given opportunity. Ngozika. Why this sudden interest? Why? Please forget about all those things. Eh? Stop speaking all this grammar up and down. Eh, what has happened has happened. It's in the past already. The present is I want him. And Uwe, you have to help me. You have to help his sister. Please. Anytime I try to come close to him, he resists me. He always rejects me. He doesn't want me to come close to him. But I, I really want him. That's the truth. I yearn for him. Music, I don't know what to say. I am disappointed. Honestly. I don't know what to say. But don't worry. I will think about it. You will think about it or you will help me talk to him? I didn't say I will help you. I said I will think about it. Uh -huh. I will think about it. Alright. What about my husband? I don't know. I think he left the, the palace with some of the elders. Oh, that's nice. Come. I would want you to keep what we're about to do now between us. Nobody should hear about it. I mean, nobody. Come. Come. Come and sit here. Oh? No, no, please. I, 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 please, leave, leave, leave me first, Lola. Leave me, leave me. No, it's fresh, you. It's Lola, not dry. Lola, please. You are bigger than this, Lola. You can just leave my, my room, please. Are you not a man? I'm giving you a gift. Something on a platter. You don't need to pay. You don't need to worry yourself. Just do, just help me. Lola, I'm not a man at this point. Please, leave my room. Oh. Okay, sh should I come and sit on your lap? No, no, this is child abuse. Leave my room. You're not a child. You're a full-grown man. No, ma, please. Okay, let me, let me come and join you. No, 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 please. Leave my room, please. Ma. Look at my face. Don't you like me? Look at me. Why are you hiding your face from me? No, no, please. Please. You are bigger than this. Leave my room. Benji, help me. You're a very fine man. Just no, help me. I can't do this, Lolo. Please, don't put me into trouble. 
There's no trouble everywhere. Nobody's in the palace. Just told me my husband is not in the palace. No, no, Biko. Come hey, now. No, no, Biko. Mind you, we need where. No, no, Biko. Just leave my room. Look at me now. Don't be bending your eyes. Look at me. Oh, no, no. you dad how could you i overheard you guys conversation you just threw me under the box like that no you sold me so cheaply why would you go asking him if he's interested in me but a young man is interested in marrying you are you not old enough are you not mature are you not ripe enough to get married my daughter dad i want to get married of course Oh, certainly not to a riffraff. You call him a riffraff. I am your dad. I can stand him as a man and give him enough money. Yes. <laughs> dad, you are going off point because this isn't the plan. You were supposed to send him away. That was what, what I was expecting from you. Why would you expect me to send the young man away where he did nothing to me? Where he did nothing physically to you? As a matter of fact, the young man is not ready to get married yet, so let him be. Oh, oh my God. F Father, to be honest with you, you are so unbelievable. I can't. I can't deal with you both. <laughs> oh, fucker. <laughs> what is even going on in this palace? Huh? Everybody are now for a and down. It seems I will live here for them. I don't like nonsense. Why can't they drink one in care and allow me to think and execute my mission here? When you open an eye here, I think they never see fine one. She said he was seductively looking at her or something. I don't understand. Who? Ify, our daughter. She said our cook was seductively looking at her, trying to seduce her. But when I asked the young man, he denied ever looking at her. What? How dare he? How dare he do that? It's okay. Uh -uh. Take it easy before you hold it on an innocent young man. It's gonna never be easy. Huh? Let me even ask you, my queen. Is our daughter not overripe to get married? My daughter is ripe to get married. But certainly not for a low life. She will not settle for a low life. Low life or no low life. I am in support of my daughter getting married. Let me tell you, I will even sponsor the marriage. As far as she fixes her body with any figure by name, man, I am in support. Mongol. It is better than remaining in this house, trying to find out who stayed at her or who did not stay at her. What do you think? I don't know whether you want to dash her to a man. Certainly she will get married at God's appointed time. And if it is God's appointed time that she must get married to that young man, so let it be. Are you aware that that young man is responsible already? He's a wonderful cook. Yes, he's a wonderful cook. His delicacy is something to write home about. So at least he has something to it for now. Well, it's a little bit something. We have to be pleased. Sis, can you imagine what that did? Imagine him going asking that riffraff if he wants to marry me. What? You mean that asked the cook to marry you? You can imagine the nonsense. Oh my goodness. Oh my God! I mean, and what did he tell Dad? 
says, listen, I didn't even bother asking him what he said because I could care less about whatever the idiot has to say. My anger is that of all the able-bodied men in this town, that decided to stoop so low as to ask him a commoner, I mean, an ordinary cook, if he wants to marry me. I mean, has he gotten to the point of father finding a husband for you? I mean, why? Listen, sis, I'm not even angry with that going to search for a husband for me. Of course, I want to settle down, but not with that commoner. Imagine cheapening himself as to go asking him if he wants to marry me. That's condescending. You know, why would that treat me that way? He made, it, he made, it, he made me look so cheap, like what legs before a commoner. I know, just... Calm down. No, listen, you do not understand, you know, because I don't even know the right way to feel right now. I'm not actually angry with that going to search for a man to marry me, but I mean, of all the able-bodied men in this town, all he could settle for, for me, was the cook. <sighs> listen, I hate myself right now. I, I hate everybody. I'm not happy. I'm... I know, you just have to calm down. It's not your fault. No, I... Please. Oh, I, he means to tell me that I cannot attract any other, you know, any good guy. I don't know. I don't know why dad is doing this. I mean, <sighs> calm down, okay? Just calm down. Listen, I'm just angry with everybody. I just need to be left alone. Really? Father, you don't think I'm old enough to get married, do you? Of course. You're more than matured to get married. My second daughter. You are. Just like your elder sister. But I don't understand. Why do you ask? Father, if you think I'm old enough to get married, you shouldn't have neglected me. I mean, you asked the cook if he will marry Ify. Why not me? I don't understand. But I was there not to understand. I mean, I'm interested in that young man too. I want him. Oh, great. Wonderful. Then make a move. Make a move to him. I, I, I don't get you. I don't get you, father. You don't understand, too. I don't. You want him, you like him, whatever. Just make a move to him, body language. Tell him how much you feel about him. Maybe the young man will love you, too. Maybe he will love me, too. Father, why are you being so unfair and partial towards me? I want to know. I mean, you spoke to that young man about Ify. And you refuse to speak to him about me? Am I not your daughter? Will you shut it? Come on! Shut the trap! Sorry. I am not just your father. I am your king! So, shut it! I'm sorry, Dad. It's just that I want him to. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, my daughter, you see... Your sister happens to be the first daughter of this family. And she has to get married first. I can't wait for her to get married and leave my palace. Tongues are wagging outside there. People are talking. Moreover, she's your elder sister. The onus falls on her to marry first, and that is my judgment. But again, if you think you can push your luck, to the cook. Go ahead and do that. Maybe his man will love you. Maybe. They say my food is not a tough Your Highness. Yes. 
How did you get into this place? Because I'm sure I locked my door before leaving. Doesn't matter. This is my house and my palace. I have access to all the rooms whenever I want. So don't ask me how I got in. It is my house. Yes, you. What do you want me to cook for you, your majesty? Nothing. I just came to apologize for what happened the other day. It was a gruesome mistake. I am so sorry. I don't know what came over me. I am sorry. I understand your majesty. Good. I will appreciate it if you don't let my husband or the children know. You have nothing to worry about, Your Majesty. I will not tell anyone what transpired between us. Good, like everyone says, nobody is above mistake. It was a very big mistake. You're right, ma'am. Excuse me. Thank you, Your Majesty. Honestly, Esther, I couldn't do it. Really? Yes. The whole thing is wrong. Absolutely wrong. Besides, the young man refused. He couldn't even look into my eyes. Nothing is wrong in it. And why will he refuse? You didn't tell him properly or make him an offer, did you? Come on, Esther, this whole arrangement is wrong. The whole thing, everything in this matter now, is very, very wrong. I've already made a very big mistake by agreeing to betray my husband. Doing this whole thing behind him. That is wrong. I thought you, you wanted to give me a son. I do. Huh? But certainly not doing what he does not approve of. Have you even thought about this? If I get pregnant in this whole process, how do I tell my husband the pregnancy belongs to him when he hardly sleeps with me? What? Well, I'm just trying to be of help. Hmm? It's okay. I, I, let's just end this whole thing. I appreciate everything you have done for me. But I couldn't get myself to betray my husband because he trusts me. He believes in me. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything you have done. But I couldn't get myself to do this. Because my husband believes in me. He trusts me so much. Thank you for your advice and everything. Honestly, I cannot undermine it. God bless you. Yes, come in. Come in. Uh... My princess. Mr. Benjamin, hmm? what is this? Don't you like what you see? <laughs> I wanted to do press up, so I was trying to get a moment to test if I fresh up. Mr. Benjamin, please, be putting on something before asking someone to come in. It could be my mother or my father. Yeah, right. I'm sorry about that. Eh? Next time I'll put, on, I'll put on something for Madame Yumiko. I want you to be decent. Okay. Um, I want you to come outside. I want to talk to you about something. Okay. Let me wear something out. I'll bring that. Good. Okay. Wife material. Wife material. I'm sorry about the way I was looking when you came in. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Mr. Benjamin, please. What is really going on between me and my sisters? Which of them? You are asking which of them? <laughs> so, all of them are interested in you, right? So, what is going on? 
Answering that question will be putting myself into trouble. Please. I don't know. Wait. You don't know? As in, you have not had anything to do with any of them? My princess, what do you want me to say? Okay, let's say they want to. Yes, but I cannot be in a... I can't date three people at the same time. Oh. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing going on. Oh. So how about my elder sister, Ife? Is she interested in you? Because she seems to be the one I want her to get married and leave this palace. Yes. Hmm. Mr. Hmm. Benjamin, you know you are my friend, right? Please, be honest with me. Are you interested in her? I wish I have the answer to this question. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Hola. Hmm? It seems Ife is interested in the cook. What? Ife? Yes. What is wrong with everybody living in this house that they suddenly forgot their class? <sighs> I hope Ife still remembers she's a princess. And as such can't be found meddling with low lives. I hope she remembers. You can't blame her, you know. She's the eldest, our big sister. She's under pressure. She wants to get married. She's not getting any younger. I know that feeling. But even if she's desperate and needs to get married, not to a common palace cook, oh my god. Hmm. Are you, Ola? Are you interested in the cook? Me? Hell no! Huh? Please clean your mouth. Are you serious? Never. It's just that I like the way he cooks. I like his food and all that. Aside from that, me, I can never. Please, 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 don't even think of it. Never in my life. That is Absolutely. how it should be. With who? Yes. Ah. You're right. I can't, I can't, I can't. I know. Hey, you know me now. I can't. That's how it should be. Because all of us are princesses. And we're supposed to carry ourselves with such respect. Not bringing ourselves to the level of stooping to that cook. I need to speak to Ife. I need to speak to I her. I mean, the mere thought of it alone is even provoking me. Please, can you just end this discussion? I don't Calm understand. down. I will speak to her. If she wants us to help her get a husband, you know, we can actually help her get a good man, someone that, you know, we treat her right. Since the thought of it alone is provoking me, please, end this discussion. I'm not joking. I'm not. I saw Ola with the cook. And something in me tells me there is something going on between the two of them. <laughs> this is not true. I, I don't think it's true. Though she told me that she likes him. And that's all. Lies. I would like to believe. Huh? Yes. All lies. She didn't tell you the entire truth. Are you insinuating that all that deceived me? Of course. No, it better not be true. It better not be true because... I mean, because? Because of what? Wait. Ife, if I may ask, are you interested in the cook? Excuse you, Ngozika. Are you mad or something? No, have you lost it? No, why would you even say a thing like that? Why would you even imagine it? Like a whole me, a whole princess, having something to do with a commoner. Never, girl. I can never stoop that low. Not in my life. 
Yes, because the difference between us is, is enough. It's wide enough. I can never go that low. What are we even talking about here? An ordinary palace cook? No, do not in your life insinuate that to me. Fine, if you say so. But if I may ask, why are you angry that Ola is with the cook? If you're not interested, For your information, Miss Questionnaire, I am only angry that Ola chose to lie to me, her elder sister. Yeah, she made me believe there was nothing, absolutely nothing between them. Yeah. So it's shocking hearing this from you. She shouldn't be found doing that. None of us should be doing that. We are royalty. You should know that. We don't have any business with that commoner. Listen, I just want to believe for the life of me that this is just nothing but a mess speculation and let it end like that. Seriously, all right? All of you. Ife Yungwa. Ife Yungwa. Do not think you can deceive me. I can see through you. I have my eyes on all of you in this palace. I've not been completely honest with you, my dear husband. What is it? You know, we never kept secret from each other since we got married. And I don't intend starting now. I love and appreciate everything about you so much. And I can't stop thanking you for always choosing me as a wife. And always standing by that your choice that I'm your wife. Thank you so much. Please. I almost made a grievous mistake recently. I approached a friend for an advice about this male child issue. And she suggested to me that I go sleep with the palace cook so that he will impregnate me. Did you sleep with him? Can you please calm down? Stop talking. Did he sleep with I you? Say, I say, come Answer me. me. Did he? No, he didn't. I couldn't get myself to do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't allow pressure <sighs> to get a better part of me. I know what I want. And you are what I want and no one else. All I had wanted was go sleep with him without your knowledge. But I couldn't. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Tell me the truth. Did he? No, he didn't. You can check. Very obvious my sisters are deceiving me. <laughs> Otherwise, why do I keep seeing them around the cook? Yet, they deny having anything to do with him. <sighs> Can they really play this game? <laughs> Can they? Me, I am not ready to let go of the cook. Not for anybody. Never. He's mine and my shall he remain. Nobody will take him 
from me. Nobody. Nobody. Pack your things and leave my palace immediately. And immediately! If I come back here and see me hold your face in this palace, I'll break a palm cannon that you will never finish chewing. Rubbish. Nincompo. Bloody Scalibur! Bunker! No respect! Evil! Trying to frustrate They say my food is not enough for They want my ojolo jolla They said they hate me before Now they come, they love me, die Jay, ordinary cook Don't come to love a boy I was in my heart to kick you Jay, and I saw in my soul but now I don't bless you. Oh, Nanji, the Lenta Pianta Pio. I don't get joy again. Everybody must go last year. Jay, Benji, Benji, in a balloli. Who could not know you? On your wet and lay goes Kata Benjamin. Celebrity cookie, no man's in the world, I am one of They say my food is not enough for They want my ojolo jolla They said they hate me before Now they come, they love me, die Jai, ordinary cook I'm done to love a boy I was in my heart to kick you Jai, and I saw in my soul But now I don't bless you I don't get joy again. Everybody must go last year. Jai, Benji, Benji, in a balloli. Who could not know you? On your way to Lagos. What is going on? Who gets an eating? Father, we are not hungry. Oh, Father, how do you expect us to eat this, this food? I can't eat this. I can't. What is wrong with the food? I'm eating it. It's very tasty. If you can't eat this, I think we have other food in this house. You go and manage with that. Dad. Dad, why did you send him away? Who? The cook. Ah. Yes, oh. Father. Well, it is personal. But, but all the same, if I should allow that young man to continue staying in this palace, there will be lots of problems. I smell trouble coming. That's why I decided to send him home. Besides, we heard some incriminating things about him. Mom, that was why I took that decision. Yes. Father, Benjamin is not a troublesome person. Yes. I don't think he has ever had any problem with anyone in this palace before. Eh? So sending him out is very unfair, father. What is the implication? You girls want him back? Yes, yes dad. We want him back. Uh, father, listen. The truth is, we are already used to eating food prepared by Benjamin. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know how I will. I, 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 Start eating this food that I don't even know who made it. I'm not hungry. I don't know about others. So you can go ahead and call it whatever. You can call it hunger strike. Me too. I am not eating this food. Dad, Mom. I joined my sisters. Father, let's call a spade a spade. What you did was very wrong. Mother, please, let me know when you are done with the food. Let me come and collect the plates. I am living with my sisters. It's okay, but 
You never liked him. We all this for your safety and everything. We were born with um, Benjamin. Is this a kind of protest? That's the solidarity movement. <laughs> so solidarity for Benjamin. Please eat your food. Thank you for not telling them the reason you sent him out. Was I supposed to send him away? The answer is no. But I did what I did because you forced me to take in that action. But I told you I did not sleep with him. You told me you did not sleep with him. For the fact that you talked to him about that at all is the most shameful and disgraceful thing you have ever done in this marriage. I am sorry, my love. Stop, stop. Stop this. You say, I am sorry, I am sorry, as if it's going to change anything. It will not. It's a mistake that you've made already. There is nothing anybody can do about it. My major worry is, how am I going to handle your daughters? that needed this young man, this cook, by all means. How do I handle them because I'm not bringing him back? My love, you have to bring him back. You know how they are. They're not ready to eat nor do anything if you don't bring him back. You know how they behave already. Please, I am begging you. No. No. They have to learn how to adjust without him. Not bring him back. Oh no. Yes, my dear. You wanted to see me. So what is it that you want to see? Me? My king, I brought good news. Yes. Do you know the famous Igbo Ohazurike, one of Amama Kingdom? Yes. <clears throat> I heard his second son is in need of a wife and is ready to make his choice, if possible, someone from the royal family. What are you waiting for? <laughs> huh? What are you waiting for? Huh? <laughs> Tell him to come and pick any of my daughters. Exactly why I am here, my king. Do you know if he eventually marries any of your daughter, you automatically have an heir to your throne? Really? You see, that is why I keep talking about you. Hmm? I'm very, very happy. <laughs> so what do I do to make him marry any of my daughters? <laughs> Just tell me, advise me. Well, my king, I will go and see the father, the king, mm. today. And to inform him your interest of becoming his prospective in-law. So that the son will proceed to visit your palace. Wap your son. Wap your son. Be yeah. fast about it. Let him come and pick any of my daughters. I will oblige him. Yeah, well, hmm? oh I will oblige him. But there is oh. one thing. What is it? For the prince to make a choice of a wife, she needs to be a good dancer. A good dancer? Yes, my king. <laughs> you are welcome to my palace. Thank you, my king. You know, my king, your palace can be likened to a paradise. I must confess, you are indeed a man of high taste. You can say that again. Once again, you're welcome to my palace. Thank you, my king. 
Yeah. What of your father, King Ohazurika of Imama Kingdom? He's alive and well. You know, he sent his regards after telling me you went to the same primary school in the 60s. Yeah, exactly. Your father, the king, used to be my classmate. He used to be a very intelligent scholar, very brilliant, you know. And it gave him scholarship for him to study the Yes, he told me that. Greetings, my friend. Greetings, my dear. Sit. My queen. Yes, my friend. Prince Ifani Chubu. The second son of uh, King Ohazulike of the Mama Kingdom. Oh. Yeah. You're welcome to our home. You're such a handsome prince. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my queen. You know, my queen, I am blessed to be in this palace. Mm, you can say that again. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, before I continue with this discussion, I think I have to do the needful. I have to give you cool or not. My daughter, do you know why I called you here? No, father. I am looking for a wonderful dancer. Do you know where I can get anyone? Father, what are you doing with a dancer? Don't worry. There's a development. But I'll open up to you and your sisters once the time is ripe. Hmm? Father, I hope everything is okay. Everything is okay. Everything is alright. Just get me a dancer and I'll tell you what is happening. Yes. Uh, well, I am surprised you are looking for a dancer while you sent the one we have in this palace away. Yes, Father. Who? You sent him away. What are you trying to say? Benji? Yes, of course. Are you trying to say that the cook is a wonderful dancer? <laughs> Father, he is a very good dancer. If he dances for you, <laughs> Father, you will forget your sorrows. I am very sure of what I'm saying. I'm telling you. Benjamin. Yes. Benjamin, father, I am very sure. But unfortunately, he has gone. Hey, my brother, have you had the oh? Have you had about the latest palace cuckoo? His name is Benji. Benji the cuckoo die. He's calling there for kitchen and pot. Hey, my brother, have you had the O? Have you had about the latest palace cuckoo? His name is Benji. Benji the cuckoo die. He's calling there for kitchen and pot. Try if you chop his food. If only if only met the lawyer now, I if only see Benicia Michaka. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Benji. Your Highness. I did not ask you to come back and resume your work because I wanted to. But it's because I am expected to, especially now, that a particular opportunity presented itself. My daughters, Father. something good is about to happen to this family. And there is something I've been keeping away from all of you for quite some time now. I think it's the right time to let the cats out of the bag. You all know popular Igwe or Hazurike of Imam Kingdom. Yes, Father. Good. His second son, Ifani Chuku, is about to choose a bride. Wow. But again, he must choose the bride from the royal line. Yeah. Automatically, that means. 
the royal family must be favored. That means one of my daughters must be favored. You don't mean it. <laughs> Father. Okay. Thank God that you're here. So, I deemed it wise to broach all of you on this. And that was why I had to invite Benjamin. Because that marriage must be consummated in one condition. That the bride in question must be a wonderful dancer. I was told that uh, Benji here knows how to dance. That was the information reaching me. Yes, Father. That is where he comes to place to teach all of you how to dance. Perfect, guys. Thank, Thank you. Guys. You're welcome. <laughs> That's so good. So you're welcome. So. What do you think, Angie? About what exactly? About dancing for the prince. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait to dance for the prince. Oh. Yes, of course. Who wouldn't want to marry a prince? Right. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and I should dance for him too. What? Oh. Wait, Ola. Were you thinking of not doing that? Um, not really. Mm, just that, I just wanted to be sure it's what every one of us wants. That's oh, it. Oh, I see. Anyway, like I said, I will be a foolish person not to dance for the prince. I know, right? Come on, a prince, his father is very influential, powerful, and has everything. Tell me about it. Yes, I will definitely dance for the prince. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, your game? 100%. <laughs> so, you were just telling me about something before. <laughs> um, I don't think I want to dance for the prince. Why? Aren't you tired of this royalty lifestyle already? If you're not, me, I'm tired. That's why you even want to marry a commoner that will take me around the whole world. Instead of marrying a prince whom I will still live in a confined place, called palace. Let's all explore, man. Tired. Hmm. Since you have a point there. Uh huh. Yeah. But that does not mean you're not dancing for the prince because me, I would like him to marry you. Uh huh. You want him to marry me? Yes. Not me and you. Why? <laughs> what are you saying? Aren't you our elder sister again? Eh? You are the Adam now. You deserve the best. Adam, you look <laughs> Well, you're right. But I'm not convinced yet. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm still thinking about it. My sister. You know what you said now? That marrying a commoner will be more fun. That is what I also want. Ha! I lie though. Don't mind me. Yeah, do not mind me. You know what? Marry royalty because you're the first daughter of this family. Forget that I say you should marry a commoner. Don't you like this lifestyle you're living? The lifestyle is sweet. To me, I like good things you know already. So, don't listen to me. As the first daughter, you deserve the best. So, I think you should go for him. Don't mind us. Mm. You have a point. You and the prince now. That's gang game, you understand? <laughs> I'll think about it. Maybe I'll join you. I'll, I'll start taking the dancing class seriously. You should, though. You should know. All right. You need to go and marry. <laughs> I'm tired of this marry, 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 my life. It, does my life depend on marriage? Not eh? really. Not really. But why, why is to... everybody telling me marry, 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 marry? What's, what's that? Let's cheers. <laughs> Toast. One love. Success. Yes, so one love. I cannot believe that the tussle for the successor to the throne is finally behind us. We made it. Honestly, honestly, my dear wife, 
I am very, very happy that I have Ono as a friend. Honestly speaking, when he brought that news, I was very, very happy. I know. See that Ono? He is indeed a good man. Wonderful to the world. I'm telling you, he's a good man. He has a good in heart. Honestly. Hmm? I just thank God I have somebody like him as a friend. Ah. And that's my own no. Mm. Do you know, he takes everything that has to do with us to heart. He cares about us. The children, the throne, our family, everything. As if we are his own. He's not selfish in any way. He is not an evil man. My love, I just like his person. Same here, same here. And I will stop at nothing by appreciating that man with a car gift when this hotel is over. Oh my goodness. Ah, my mind is mad. I'll give him a car. And I support you all the way. Let's toast for that. Cheers. One love. My loving husband. <laughs> <laughs> So why didn't you come out? I don't think it's right to be in a competition with my sisters. Yes. Besides, I am not ready to settle down with any man now. Let them get married if they want, not me. Are you saying you are not ready for marriage yet or what? No, I didn't say so. You don't want to get married? Yes, I am not ready now. 
They are quite older than I am. Let me give them the chance to get married. You are wrong. Marriage is not by age, but destiny. Yes, some are destined to marry early. <laughs> That's true. I know. But I want my sisters to get married. They are quite older than I am. So, tell me, how was it? Hmm. Very boring and uninteresting. Are you serious? Why? Yes. If not under respect I have for your father, I won't have done that. I will just say that I'm sick that I can't teach anybody. Oh, please. Don't say this. Hmm? If not for anything, just do it for the sake of my sisters. I want them to get married. Eh? Okay, just do it for me. Okay? I should do it for you. Yes. I will do it for you on one condition. <laughs> okay. What's that? You must be present while I teach them. <laughs> you are very funny. I thought you say you let me wash another dishes for you. No, 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 no. Just be present. It's okay. Consider it done. Yeah. I will do it for you. All right, then. Yeah. What if the prince does not choose any of our daughters? That means all the dancing classes they've been attending would have been in vain. I'm not even thinking towards that direction. But I want you to note one thing. The prince must pick a bride from the royal line. You talk as if it's only our daughters that are from royal line. There are other girls there that are from royal blood too. And from other villages. He could choose from them. But the prince's interest is here, is in this family. Yeah? I'm just showing concern. You are showing concern, but I want you to know the truth. There is no way that man will not make a choice out of my beautiful daughters. I think the only prayer is for God to favor us this time. I just wish you would pick our daughter. Ify. That girl has been waiting on God for a husband. I just pray uh, fate will smile on her this time around. And she's picked our first food. Why is it that our thought goes to us this evening? God will do it. Amen. They say my food is not enough for they want my ojola ojola. They said they hate me before. Now they come, they love me die. Joy, ordinary cook. Ordinary cook. Hello. Hi, my princess. Benjamin. Oh. You know I'm not happy with you for rejecting my proposal the last time. I'm sorry, my princess. Just that I was scared and confused at the same time. I didn't know how to react. Well, that's okay. You're such a good dancer, you know. So I came to find out, how did you learn all these wonderful steps? Mm -hmm. Who taught you? My grandma was a great dancer before she died. No. So while growing up, I lived with her. That was how I learned how to dance. You're joking, right? I'm serious. Oh, wow. Lucky you then. At least you know who your grandma is, unlike us. Our grandma died even before our parents met. So my princess, what do you want? As you can see, I'm resting. You want food? Of course, no! <laughs> you know what I want? I want you, Benjamin. Where are you going to? It's you I want. <laughs> I want you. Listen to me. Even if it's just this one time. Do not marry me. Just sleep with me, okay? Please. I want oh, you. My princess. Please to me. <laughs> my princess. My <laughs> princess. How, how did they to remove this royal clothes? Okay, start from the back to back. Sis. Oh. I have been trying to talk to Ngozi and Ola not to be in their beds on the day of selection. Because I wouldn't want anything that would make Prince and Mama not to select you as his wife. Excuse me. Now why would you want to do anything like that? Why are you discouraging them? 
Listen, I do not care. I don't care whether he chooses me or not. Yeah, he can go ahead and choose any of you. It's not my business. I'm fine. Honestly. So you don't have to tell them that, please. Uh, uh, wait. I, I don't understand you. What are you talking about? Baby sis, what I'm talking about is very simple. That I, Princess Ife Yuma, is not interested in any so-called prince. So, the rest of you can go ahead and look your best that day. No, he's free to choose any of you. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry, please. I'm not desperate to. <sighs> Sis, what is really going on? Huh? Obuzi Kwagi? You see, you are my baby sis and I know that you're still coming up so there are a lot of things you will not really understand now but you will definitely understand much, much later. You see, this life is quite deep. Sometimes you run into this fine looking man he doesn't have all to give you, I mean financially and otherwise. But in bed, he's super, super capable of giving you the most pleasurable ride you can ever think of. And you know what? That is the exactly kind of man I am searching for in a husband. Mm -hmm. You know, you're still coming up. So you might not really understand what I'm saying, but that's my kind of man. Sis, I don't know what is really going on with you, honestly. It's not for you to understand me now, but I know you will do soon. <laughs> Everybody must come rescue. Yeah. Jai, Benji, 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 in a barole. Who could do the sexiest? How are you? My presence, please watch how you barge into my room. I just finished bathing and dressing up and just walk home. How I wish you can go back there so we can take our bed together. What do you think? What do you want? I want a special class from you. But I've told you people that there is no dancing class today. I need to rest. That's the more reason why I'm here. Yeah. You know, I need a special and private class from you. The last time I saw my sisters smooshing their bodies around you during the dancing class, I kept my cool because I knew I was going to have a special class with you. That is why I'm here. You want a special class with me? Of course. Princess. Mm -hmm. Princess. Chari is Ricky. Mm -hmm. Extra class demands extra fee. Yes. So if you want oh. extra class, you have to pay more. I am not a church rat. Okay? I'm a princess. I'm important to the task. I just don't worry. I'll take care of you. Uh. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the bathroom, man. You know it's private class. You have to keep it private. Fine. Okay. Let's go. But now I don't you. I hope you enjoyed it. Ah, I enjoyed it. Come on. Like, this feels like a dream come true, my love. I've been wanting this opportunity, but you kept on denying me. Yes, I know. I always see it in your eyes. But I needed to be sure you know what you want. Of course. Of course. That was why you kept on denying me. But to tell you the truth now, hey, Toka, you're so sweet. Ah, if there's anything better than sweet, that is what you are. <laughs> so this is what you ever wanted? Of course. <laughs> Listen, I, 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 have, I have, let me tell you now. Okay. I can't wait. Like, I can't wait to choose you as my wife. Damn it! Oh my gosh! Yeah, your voice. Oh my baby! Oh, stupid! Oh my god! I know your voice. You 
know this relationship is so good. Yes. You would not have lost it yet. God. Keep it on the level. You know how happy you make me feel. I couldn't contain my joy. Honestly. You bring your Thank you. I can't wait to be yours. We are together forever. I love you. I love you more. Thank you. you. you now listen, baby. Anything you want from now, I mean, anything money can buy, but the one money cannot buy, I will give it to you. I want to spoil you, no, no, so no, that no. you will know that you're dealing with a witch princess. No, <laughs> I, I, I don't collect money from women. No, baby. You're I don't collect money from women. No, no you own mine. I love you. Where is Ngozi? Where is Ngozi? I, I guess she's inside. The competition will now hold this weekend. Really? Yes, I heard from a reliable source that Prince Ifani will be coming to the palace this weekend to see father. And once he's here, the selection will take place. He'll be coming this weekend? Yes. In that case, we don't have much time then. No, really, we don't have time. And here we are still thinking we still got time. Wow. I can't wait to welcome the prince into this palace. Sis, you know I'm not dancing on that day. Why? Why are you not dancing? Sis, I am not interested in getting married anytime soon. But don't worry, sis. I will be there to cheer you up. <laughs> uh, anyway, I need to go and see Ngozi and give her the good news. <laughs> sis, hmm? don't worry. I wish you all the best. Hmm? <laughs> you should wish your love to someone else. Someone that truly needs it, because as for me, I do not need it. I've already made it clear to you that I'm not interested in marrying any dirty prince from any kingdom. Yeah, I'll be participating on the dance simply because I just want to please father. Not like it's my wish. Yeah. So you can wish your luck to someone else. I'm fine. So who do you want to marry my sister? Hmm? Yes. You want to know who I want to marry? Of course. Okay. I shall be unveiling him soon. Soon? And when I do, you see why my heart yields for him. Wow. Yeah. He's every woman's man. Oh, I can't wait. Of Sis. course. I'm happy for you. Are you serious? Ah. Cheers. Help me. <laughs> What are you doing in Ben's room? And what is this supposed to mean? Where is that question coming from? No, no, I want to know. What were you doing in his room? I can see you have gone out of your mind. How dare you shout at me, eh? Oledo, how dare you? And now listen to me. If you want to find out what I went to Ben's room to do, why don't you go in there and find out yourself? <laughs> Let it not be what I'm thinking of. Think whatever. Ngozika. How dare you? How dare you? And why are you shouting at me, Ola? Who gave you the right to shout? Oh, at shut me? up your stinking mouth! Can you imagine? What is this, man? No, 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 what is it? Why are you both shouting like mad people? Sis, what is the cause of this one? Can you now? imagine this, this, this chameleon, this idiot, this good for nothing, going behind me to sleep with my man? And if I may ask, who is your man? The cook! The what cook! Is? Yes! Wait, 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 wait a minute. I need to get something clear. Wait a minute. Who are you both referring to as your man? You mean Benjamin, my man? I mean the cook, Benjamin, my man? Is that who you both are here fighting for? Yes, you did I hear you well? Mm -hmm. You said Benjamin, your man. In Masikwa Bankata. Oh, but you are a good thing. Eh? Oh, anyway, I don't have anything to say. And you, listen. Benjamin is my man. And mine alone. You lie! Stay away from Benjamin. He belongs to me. Oh, I hear. 
This must be a dream or something. You both must be seriously dreaming, yeah? Because I'm trying to understand what the hell is going on here. Now listen, you two slimy bastards. If you have started scandanting around him, stay the hell away from him. Because I am not joking. And you two listen to me! Listen to me, this does not have anything to do with blood. I will not spare any bastard if he tried to stop me or tried to steal him from me. I will kill any bastard that tries to <laughs> come in between me and him. In other words, who are you calling bastard? The both of you. You're mad. And you will listen to me! You are raving mad! I am going to kill you anybody and mad. who will come against between I and my Benjamin. Nobody! Nobody! I will kill you! I will laugh at you girls! <laughs> But listen to me, I don't want to see you or you close to Benjamin. Get down! Can you imagine? Wait a minute. Don't try me. Yeah? Hola. Who are you frightening? Did you just frighten me? Of course. You frightened me. What will you do, me? If you want, what on earth will you do? I want to know. Oh my god! You want to judge me? That's your business. See, you judge. Nobody should come to me. You say you are stupid people. Don't don't try me. 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 Don't try Yes, <clears throat> to remind you all who your eldest sister is, in case you have forgotten. Because it seems to me that some of you suffer from loss of memories. Yes, who your elder sister is. I just want to remind you all that I, Princess Ife Yuma, still remains your elder sister and as so it is my right to take or be given anything first before any of you i don't understand where are you driving at okay very simple i'm just gonna make it straight and short okay you see that guy i mean the young man named Benjamin, our cook. Yes, the cook. You know Benjamin? Mr. Benjamin. Yes. As the first daughter of this family, I demand that all of you, every one of you, stay away from him. Because he belongs to me. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I look like a joke to you, or? No, is that it? No, why are you calling me? The, what I want to say is very simple. All of you, even the ones that move behind my back, meandering, scannivancing around, trying to steal him from me, should back off. <laughs> for he is my man. This is the last time I will say this. I wouldn't for any reason have to repeat myself the next time none of you would like my action and that's on period i'm not saying that my foot how dare you did you listen to yourself speak sis sister ify you open your mouth to say we should leave benjamin for you as what don't you know we have feelings we have blood running through our veins how dare you speak such now listen to me. I, Ngozika, will never be alive and leave that boy Benjamin for you. Ooh. Did you hear me? That will be over my dead body. You better order for your casket, girl. You girls are just talking rubbish. Why are you guys ranting? Why they rant? No, I want to know. It will be over my dead body. Hmm? Will I leave Benjamin for the blood of you? <laughs> over my dead body. Listen, you see Benjamin, I don't want to see any of you close to him. He is mine uh -huh. and not yours. Listen, not what now, not in your entire miserable lives. I'm talking to you cockroaches. You should never near 
Benjamin. He belongs to me. Me? And not you. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oledo, or yeah. whatever you are called, who did you just address as cockroach? The two of you. Really? Yes. Oledo, I can see you've grown some wings. It seems to me that you've forgotten how I used to beat you up in those days. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Ifeyunwa! That was then! Do you think you can try that rubbish again with me? You can't try it, I swear by the gods! I will skin you alive! Oh no 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 no! You think this is the only do? You used to beat them! Try it now! And I will skin you alive! Try it! Can you imagine? Look at you! Old hag! want to leave this place. Open the door. Ma. Nobody will leave this room until you all agree never to drag my man Benjamin with me. What? You must be sick in the head. If I know you need a medical attention, you are sick. I can see that. And that What's wrong with you? Or whatever they call you. Listen to me. I know you're a troublesome person. You like trouble. But now, let me tell you, ah, Yingazika, I am not in the mood for trouble. So please, open this door. I'm only respecting you. Respect? No, Ngozika. Did I hear you say respect? You heard me. No, when did you... Monkey idiot start respecting me in this palace? When? Well... You had my respect until you decided to be fornicating with my man, Benjamin. Listen, Ifeimwa, I am ready for you without your madness. Bring it on. Ifeimwa, bring it on. And I will show you the stuff I'm made of. Fire to fire. And how you run I will Ola. give it to you. Please, You're mad. please, 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 don't touch your wisdom. Don't, don't touch me. Can we just stop this for now? I am not it already. Because I'm respecting you, you lost that respect already. What's wrong with you? Open this door, my friend. Open Ola, it. Ola, can we stop this on this For the last time, I won't have you insult me any further. What would you do? Hey. You won't like it. Really? Just do not insult me again. And if she does, what will you do? Ask her. Ask her. If she does, what will you do? Ask her. It seems like your head is keeping, right? You love respect, but you brought yourself to the level of not having respect. You're dragging a man with your two siblings. You should be ashamed of yourself, you old cargo. Yes, you heard me. What's in car? What's in car? What is all this? Listen to me. You know, I can actually take anything from all of my hair, but definitely not from a church rat. Mm. Yes. Mm. 
Are you mad or something? Open the door! You dare open your silly gutter mouth and talk back at me like that? What will you do? What will I do? What will you 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 do? I am happy you are all seated. What in God's name is wrong with you girls? Every time I hear you squabbling over what? What exactly are you all fighting over? Mother. I ask you girls, what are you fighting for? Mother, it's nothing we cannot resolve on our own. It's not that deep, okay? Really? I can see how you're resolving it by breaking your little sister's head. What madness! Can't you stop already? Mother, we are very sorry. I do not need your apology. All I want is the reason for all this. Because you girls have been living peacefully and happy until recently. What changed? I believe you all are listening to me. Are you coming hear me? I am waiting for your answers. What changed? Hey, my brother. Hey, no, you can you me? I will give it to oh, you. Shut up. Oh, you can want you it? stop? You what can imagine. Huh? <laughs> don't try me. Because I brought you all here for peace. I don't like what you are doing. You want to start fight again? Huh? It's, it's obvious you called a useless meeting. Hmm? Yeah, and I'm not supposed to be here. If it's not a useless meeting, why are they still quarreling? Because from all indications, these idiots, what? these two fools, are not ready for peace talk. They want war. And war, they shall get. Hmm. Because as it stands now, I am ready to fight you both to a standstill. Mubu, and that's all your it. mouth! Period. Can you fight me? Mubu. Yeah? Can you fight me? Ngozika. You heard me! Ngozika. So if you want to talk, just watch the way you talk and don't even try to insult me. Direct it this way. Shut up your mouth, my friend. Wait, oh, direct wait, it wait. which way? What is all this? What is all this? Ngozika. Sis, did you just call big me sis. Mumu? Big sis. No, 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 no. Yes. Allow me to teach her what hey, Mumu can do. Please. Mumu. See my eyes, though. Me? Yes. Have you found you? Hey! hey. hey. If hey. you are, I am warning you. If you are, I am warning you. you. Hey. 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 you. No, no. The way I will break your head. Would you okay. hear me? Don't try me. Don't try me. I will show you. If anybody try me in this palace, I will break your head. Ah, you know the car. I spoke with you. You don't behave like the other sister. You can imagine. The other sister, my fool. They be like other sister. We are here dragging them out with your younger ones. You should be ashamed of yourself. So this is the kind of place you are right now. No, no, God no. will bless you right now. Since ever mother gave birth to you, you are just saying the truth. You will go to heaven, my sister. God bless you. She's indeed a moron. Hmm. You are a moron. Oh, 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 o